I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Israeli News Live here again on the border in Syria. Today we do not have the explosions going off in the background like we did yesterday and the day before, but we have had some small arms fire going off in the background. But since we had the blood moons on the 8th that appeared over the United States, uh, and of course Israel has been seeing some preliminary blood moons just with the mere fact that the moon's been turning orangish and reddish colors in the evening skies here. But since that time, we've had urgent news that has come out of Israel even today, reported on Arut Shiva, Israel's national news here in the homeland of Israel, the state of Israel, that is. We are finding that some of the, some of the clergy from the Greek Orthodox and the Roman Church here and the Lutheran churches are doing an urgent plea to the European Union, to different nations there, to recognize the Palestinian, the West Bank, as a Palestinian state. They are requ requiring urgently that the, that the European Union call upon United Nations troops, which are led by the Vatican, to actually come here and enforce that rule, the rules of law that they want to have enforced here. No wonder why there's so much unrest in Israel between the Palestinians and the Jewish people, because they already know that that push is underway. Mahmoud Abbas also has been pushing for that, saying that they will declare themselves a state by 2016. And of course, the clergy is calling on that all Jews are out of, is out of Jerusalem by 2016 as well, that it be totally rid of any Jews as well, the clergy, now this is not even the true Christians that are standing with Israel, but the Greek Orthodox, the Roman Orthodox, and the Lutherans are saying that the, that the Jews are an undesirable occupants of Israel, or of the Holy Land as they put it, which is actually Israel. They're requiring that they go back to the pre-1967 borders. It's another requirement that they are demanding be done here just amazing the audacity that the church and the influence that they're having here. And of course, it's no strange thing that we are seeing troops here, UN troops, that supposedly left Syria by the hundreds because of ISIS. Well, the Vatican, along with the United States, created this ISIS force to begin with, and it seems to have only been a plot to be able to get UN forces into Israel, to be able to get what Shimon Peres signed in 1993 with the Vatican to get his desire fulfilled that a United Nations force would be here in Israel. Also, earlier today when we were in uh, southern, the southern Galilee, as we were headed back to the house after having lunch, there, were, there was an ambulance and a fire truck rushing to the southern part of the Galilee there. We just passed, missed it only by minutes while a 32-year-old man was shot in his car in southern Galilee. The suspect is unknown of who he is at the time. There is little news being, being reported thus far, yet we were actually seeing the emergency services being sent to the scene there, to the southern Galilee there. As they investigate, uh, as the investigation is ongoing by Israel's national news, uh, reporting that the investigation is ongoing of who actually shot the man and why he was shot in southern Galilee. As well, it's reported by the rabbi of the Kotel that the, uh, the, the Temple Mount has become a stage for riots and anti-Semitism. Now the Temple Mount is no longer the sacred holy site that it should be, but it's totally under the control of the Palestinian Authority and therefore has become a stage for launching riots against the Jewish people in the holy city. I'm Stephen Bentonoon with Israeli News Live, reporting to you live from the Syrian border. Hope you enjoy the beautiful rainbow that was here just moments ago. In fact, the rainbow touched down right here at Mount Bental. Literally, you could see where it was touching the ground below us here and just to the left on the Israeli side, like an archway, a gateway the land of Israel, the state of Israel. I'm Stephen Bendenun with Israeli News Live from Israel in the Golan Heights. Baruch Hashem.